I'm Dan from Brunchpod and this is actually my first Let's Build ever. Let's Build a Modern City Part 1 The Council House. Now as you can see I'm in a world here and there's nothing here at all. This is my canvas that I'm going to create my city on, my dream. I, I personally want to become an architect when I'm older and I'm going to express some of my ideas to you guys. So to give you ideas on your builds in Minecraft. So, and to the magic of uh, movie magic, you can see it happen right before your eyes. I will pause the video at each point so you can catch up. So you'll be able to pause the video in this YouTube browser just here that you are in right now. And you'll be able to stop and pause the video. So let's get started. So the council house is going to be quite a posh building that the, the councillors are going to be in. So we're going to need quite good materials to do it. This is the uh, the modem HD pack if anyone was wondering. I'll try and leave a link to that down below. Right, so I'd say something like sandstone and maybe some chiseled quartz, some quartz blocks, some quartz stairs. We're going to need some sandstone stairs and some uh, I think we will we need some slabs. We might not need some slabs, I don't know. And when we get to the roof, we'll get to the roof when we get to it. And I think I might, I, I don't know, what's a brick look like? It looks okay, we might have a brick roof. Um, okay, so let's get started. So, for a start, we are going to need some sort of stairway to get up. So, one, two, three, four. Um, so, do about the stairway, about... I say about 12 across maybe 12 or 14 I'm gonna go 14 because I want my counter house quite big okay and we'll have you can have some sort of because this is going to be in the center of our city the council house so everything that we build is going to be around this area here so everything will, will be around here so so we can build wow that was absolutely terrible I thought that would be smooth so we can oh, we can build this up a little bit here and then over here we'll have a podium like if anyone's seen the East Midlands Today News, anyone here who lives in the East Midlands, you'll see at the beginning of the news, you'll see the council house in the centre of the East Midlands, in the centre of Nottingham. The crowning jewel of the East Midlands is the council house. Everyone sees the council house. And the trams too, the trams. You can't forget the trams. Um, how many is it across actually over here? Three, four. Do four. How about six actually? Four or five. Right, so we'll make that equal on the other side again. Right, so this is this is going to be the maximum width of our council house. So it's going to be quite big. And um, over on each side of here we're gonna have some sort of statue of something. So we'll have a lot of room over here to do things. So I'm just going to build a very quick platform here and I'm going to make it quite big and when I'm done I'll give you the dimensions so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys I'm back and I've got my base here for what will be soon at Council House. So I've built a nice big sort of place here for what will be the pillars. Oh yeah, we're going for some sort of Greek Colosseum kind of thing that will be our, our council house. So, oh, that's wrong. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, okay, so now, what we're going to work on now is the pillars. Now the pillars have to be, they have to, there has to be an odd number of them, so I think I'm going to try and go with three, so 
one there maybe where my cursor is, one there, one there, and one there. So this is how I'm going to try and do it. So I'm just going to point out that the dimensions of this building are in fact 24 by 23. So 23 that way, 24 this way. So this is the even amount, so I will be able to fit an odd number of pillars here. So I'm going to try and go for it a bit like this. So how much room have I got to work with here? So about this. So yeah, these are the new quartz pillars. But these aren't going to go undecorated. Now, this isn't one of those Let's Build series where there's going to be a really nice episode of like interior decorating. No, I'm kind of... I'm, I want to be an architect. I'm not going to be all fancy whoop de doo decorating inside. I'm a lady malarkey. This is going to be... Let's build pure building. No interior decorating. I'm going to leave that for you guys to do if you decide to build one of these buildings. I'm going to let you do the building inside yourself. But the building outside is mine or your own decision of how you wish to build it. So that's pillar number one that we've decided to put there. Okay, so the pillars, I'm just going to give you the dimensions of them now. So it's one, two, three, four across, two, two there, and upwards, it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so it is uh, two by two, two by two there, and then fifteen upwards, and then these are quartz stairs, using the texture pack that I'm using, formed around the bottom to give it a... Um, a nice decorative pattern. So I might choose to uh, to make to make the pit pillars a bit bigger. Maybe if I want to make the roof a bit bigger. But for now, they're going to stay this height because I feel that this is an okay height for, for my pillars. So there we go. There's one of the three pillars. Now I'm going to repeat this three more times there, and that will be the front of our well, the starting front of our our council house. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've decided to settle on four pillars because I was able to settle it out equally and I've, ha I've had an equal amount of space. That's two blocks in between each pillar and it's the same dimensions as the first one there. And I've been able to fit four on and enough room for a nice door. But I'm going to have to cut off a little bit of the wall here so I can actually fit it in. So by about this, maybe. Now the council house has got to be a grand building, so it's going to have a nice sort of like dome on the top, made out of glass, and the glass will look good. So right, now I'm going to make a start on the walls. So the walls are in fact going to be like this. So again, the sandstone that I'm using in my texture pack. And I'm doing this roughly here because I am actually going to have to set them on the floor. And I, while I was building the pillars, I, th I don't know, but I thought I was going to make it out of this. This chiselled quartz block because I thought this gave it sort of like a marbly feeling but I didn't think it went too insanely well with the other sandstone but I think it's gonna have to do so I'm gonna keep keep that idea in mind while I build up the walls now the walls are going to have to be as high or not almost almost as high as the pillars themselves because we're going to have a triangular roof on this with a dome in the centre of the triangle and it's going to be an even triangle so it's going to be a too thick oh sorry my hamster just got out if you heard the rattle um, there's going to be a two block peak at the top so it's going to be nice and equal I feel so I'm going to put in the floor 
and the walls up to a decent height and I will see you in a second. Okay hi guys I'm back and I've done the walls of just above the pillars actually one above as you can see because I put a kind of overlay that, that the pillars are holding up so it's actually holding up the roof which I think looks pretty cool from a distance now as you can see it is quite dark in my wasteland and the light is being provided by the um, the glowstone underneath my windows as you can see I love these doors these look like council house doors That's, I like this texture pack and as you can see on the other side because there will be roads coming around the edge of here um, there will there will be darkness and I thought that because if I th thought that I, I light it up from the outside like I have here because I put glass panes it will light up both sides which it has but it looked insanely ugly from outside so I made some window ledges on the outside which I've made out of uh, sandstone bricks I'm going to show you as you can see some sandstone brick overlay oh, oh that's not nice at all some sandstone brick uh, half of these aren't right actually yeah they're fine, they're fine. actually is that one yes ok as you can see I've used the, uh, the corner stairs and the regular stairs upside down and it goes well because at a distance it doesn't look like they're there and then as soon as you come up closer you still don't realise that they're there you can only notice at an angle that they're there as you can see here because you can see the shadow of them from the, from the light of the glowstone so here we have the stairs up to the council house it's funny to say that we actually started this about two hours ago and um, this is what we've got so far so now what we need to do is actually put a roof on it so I mean the, vi the video is actually 12 minutes in and I've actually been doing this for two hours as if you can see that's that that's since I started the map I've, I've been through three days and <laughs> I had to set the time well I don't I don't even know I've been well I should have been through three days and I've only, this is the proper night that I've actually had because I wanted to show you what it was like I like these though the um, the glowstone giving off the light I think I might use that like extend the windows up maybe have logs on the out actually you know what I won't I'm just gonna stick with this I like it it works and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a few more windows so I'm going to get my glass panes and my glowstone and my sandstone stairs and I'm going to put in this I'm also going to put in a second floor with some more stairs which I'm going to make out of the uh, the sandstone and I'm going to have a sort of um, how do you say it like a balcony platform maybe that's what I'm going to call it a balcony platform about Oh, I don't know how much is it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. At about this level here, that's about halfway. And actually, no, about one below. One below. That'd be fine. About here, I'm going to create some sort of platform here with some. Uh, well, and in the centre, there will be a Minecraft circle perfect minecraft circle and in that spot is also where the uh, the dome will be at the top and actually now that I think about it because I'm having a triangular roof I might not go with the dome I might just give it sort of a triangular roof and that's it then I'll just leave it at that let's just take let's turn the, uh, the, the time back to zero so that I can actually see and we will get on with this floor here you can see how long it takes because I've actually got cold hands now because I've been here for ages just clicking away at this oh dear alright well I'm going to create this platform and maybe make a drink while I'm at it and I will be back when I've got this floor flaming done then I can get on with the roof 
Whew. And maybe some more windows on this level. Maybe I could put some windows on this level, actually. Yeah, that would be quite nice. Yeah, so I'll, 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 uh, I'll fill, in, fill in this, do the circle in the windows, make a drink, and I'll be back to you when all that is done in the next second. Okay, so watch this. Hello, I'm back, and we've almost completed our council house. We've got the centre hole in the middle, like I promised. We've got the inside, we've got some sandstone stairs going upstairs, so you can look over whatever's going downstairs in the main lobby, or the main conference room, whatever you want to make it. This is yours to decide. Whatever you want, you can look down here, and you can see what the hell is happening. And all that's left to do now is the roof and the roof is going to be fairly simple really because we're only going to use these two items brick stairs and brick blocks and all we need to do is form some kind of triangular pattern at each end of the, uh, of the council building so we'll start here because what we need to do is we do essentially need to build a big triangle at either side of the building. So this shouldn't take too long because there is going to be some kind of overhang at either side that I would like to add in, definitely. So I'll do this and I'll get back to you when our beautiful council building is nearly complete. Okay, so I will see you in a minute. Okay guys, here we go. This is it. This is our finish. Never again doing any more work on it. Council house. Yeah, this is it. This is our finished product. What we started off as the steps. Pillars. And basically out from the porch is now done. And I've done my part, and now it's your turn. I've done my part, providing the design, the architectural feat for the building, and now it is your turn. Because there's one more thing that needs to be done to our fabric building, the interior design, and that is for you to do yourself. You may do this in any way you need these as long. And as the sun rises over our battle plane and shines into the windows of our council house, we now know that our job here is done. So I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video and give me comments for what building you think I should do next in my series. I've been Dan, Winch Pod, and I will see you next time. Bye.